Hello everyone, this is um, Nishan um, Zenix with Voxes um, tutorial. Um, uh, what is Voxes? Um, it's this application that you can see. Um, it's an application for GNOME 3 uh, for uh, managing what we call the other machines. Um, the other machine is um, um, there, there are two types of other what we call other machines. One is uh, the case of remote machine. Uh, you have a uh, machine in your office and you want to connect to it through uh, from home. Um, and th that would be a case of a remote machine. And Foxes um, um, uh, allows you to ac access that and connect to that. And um, uh, then there is the other kind of other machine, which is uh, a virtual machine. And um, uh, to be able to create a virtual machine um, with different operating systems than your than your host um, is running, uh, it's it's a uh, it's something that is uh, a lot of people are doing that, and it's getting really really popular nowadays, uh, especially because now we have um, uh, technological advancements like uh, KVM, which is uh, which uses the uh, hardware's native uh, hardware virtualization extensions on Intel and and AMD processors, uh, so it's it's so fast that um, it's almost as good as the um, the host uh, as a native operating system uh, running. So um, uh, so yeah, because of that, people really want to uh, work um, with virtual machines, and many times we want to use uh, applications that uh, that run on um, an operating system that that is not uh, running on your host. For example, if you're running Linux and you want to use some Windows applications, uh, how would you do that? It's the, the, um, the most appropriate way nowadays is, is uh, to have a Windows virtual machine and run the application there. Um, anyway, so um, uh, that's, that's the introduction. And uh, uh, you can find out more information from the homepage. I'll, I'll give a URL uh, on the um, uh, YouTube uh, when, uh, when I update, upload this. Um, this video, um, and if, if not, if you if you are viewing it from somewhere else, not YouTube or something, then you can just Google for GNOME boxes, and uh, you will find it very easily, and you can get more information from there. Um, so let's get uh, started. I wanted to show you different feature boxes. So this is how how it looks like when you uh, get it. I have one uh, machine right now already running. Uh, it's not running right now. It's, it's saved. Uh, when boxes um, exits, it saves the virtual machine boxes that are running, and then you can restore it when uh, when you run boxes. Um, so we restore um, first. It restores it from the save state. Uh, it depends on the host machine. On some, it takes a uh, very uh, long time. On some, it takes a uh, rather short amount of time. Um, so here it is. Uh, now it's connected. Um, you can do different things here. This uh, box will be a bit slower because uh, I'm also recording a video on the same machine on the same host. Um, and um, yeah, you can full screen and change the resolution accordingly. And change full screen and full screen. Um, yeah, and when you go and press the top, then you see all the other options like um, you can have a full screen, and um, then you can change the properties from this button. Uh, this doesn't just change properties, as you can see, there are different kind of properties available here, and also you get a thumbnail of the uh, the machine right here, and uh, if you see, you get CPU. I.O. and network usage. There's no network user right now, so it's zero. Um, you can force shut down it. Uh, it's not nice to do. <laughs> Sometimes you have to if uh, the machine is stuck or something. Um, and um, and then you can, uh, for example, change name. Let's say that Fedo Fed Seventeen. Yep. Um, then you can change system properties, you can change, change protocol, share clipboard, not share clipboard. Uh, this requires um, something called a guest agent inside the um, 
the guest operating system, the one is running inside the virtual machine. Um, besides guest, I believe that also needs that. These are different kinds of options that you can set uh, in display. And then for, um, for memory, you can change the memory, of course, and then disk size. Uh, and you get the option to um, restart the machine because uh, some of the changes need to restart. Um, and um, uh, this disk space is maximum disk space. That's what the guest operating system will see. It doesn't mean that uh, we are actually using uh, all this space that it says that uh, we are not currently using 14 GB, but rather what um, yeah, the guest is using right now. I think it's around 2 GB um, right now. Um, but yeah, this is maximum. And uh, memory is the same. It doesn't mean that it's actually being uh, reserved for the guest. So uh, feel free to increase it um, as long as the guest is not too greedy and takes it all for no reason. Um, and OK, so this time we choose yes. And the guest then restarts. Yeah, you get this option too. Um, to um, force restart, but I don't think that was really needed. It was um, just some problems on my machine. Um, as you all know, it's a demo effective. When you're doing some demo of any kind, then things fall apart. So that's that effect in action. <laughs> anyway, you, you go back to the collection view. And um, in here, uh, you can also um, do a few other things. You can go to selection mode. You either go by this mode, um, then you can select different items from here, like select all. You only have right now one, so it doesn't really matter. Or you can just select like this by clicking on it. Then you get different options for machines. Like you can, for example, you can save it by clicking this button or add to favorite. A favorite just now adds a favorite icon on the ones that are your favorite. If you have a lot of uh, machines and, uh, for example, remote machines here, then you will see the difference. Um, uh, like if you add to favorite, then uh, you, will, you will notice them more. Um, and you can um, uh, delete the machine and then you can undo it or if you hadn't um, Okay, and um, then you can go again to properties view from here as well. This is useful if you uh, you don't want to run the machine but change the properties. So this is useful for that, uh, like to go to properties from this method, using this method. Um, we go back again. And, just, and you can also enter selection mode by right clicking. I just right clicked and now we enter the selection mode and the box was selected for us. And also we can save it. So now the um, box is uh, saved and um, uh, we are happy. <laughs> and and we're done. So now that that box is saved, now we can um, use the resources we just saved, like the one uh, from the host, to um, create a new machine. And um, let's go through the wizard now. So this is the wizard that the thing that you use for um, for creating a new um, virtual machine or, or create a connection to a remote machine. Um, and um, you continue. And you get these options. So these are the um, uh, ISOs that I have downloaded on my home directory. And they're automatically listed here. Uh, this is done through, um, through a tracker extension. Um, and we, uh, we asked Tracker which ISOs we have that are bootable, and these are the ones. And um, uh, you can choose any from here. Um, and um, also you can uh, like enter a URL. Uh, it could be any like um, URL to um, or a path to a, a ISO, uh, or it could be a um, you know, spice URL. Uh, there is uh, some special spice URL. Host on. And as you can see, it uh, it shows you like um, it is a remote desktop, 
um, access uh, to detect it when you start writing spice. If you have a file, then it's just desktop access. Um, yeah. And um, so, um, but we don't want that. Uh, don't have any example, uh, any remote machine to run it with. So we instead just use uh, uh, Windows XP. I will now type password. Uh, I'm not telling the password. <laughs> um, so um, if you remove the password, then you can just click on anything else and then it, uh, just remove it. And you can have passwordless systems. Um, so this, these are the options that I'm setting right now. They are um, uh, to create um, uh, what we call an express installation of the operating system in question, um, which means that you won't be asked any questions after this point if you choose the express installation. If you don't choose it, uh, the installation will be just the usual installation. The operating system will ask you all the different questions that uh, we wouldn't have time for. So we save you some time, and you just check a few buttons. So you click a few buttons and check this um, checkbox. And then you enter the product key. Of course, I'm not going to show you my product key, so um, I cannot. Um, and um, so yeah, you just give it that. And then once you have entered all the needed information, you can click continue. Then you can create everything. But before you can do that, uh, you sometimes you want to like customize because we take um, a guess on what's the best uh, what is the recommended memory and disk and um, we could be wrong for example in this case uh, this 128 mb was suggested and recommended by uh, probably by, by windows xp by microsoft for windows xp at the time but nowadays it's just too little and people want more so if you know better you hit customize then you go straight to system properties and you can change different things uh, as you did in the properties view. And then you can get more disk space to it. And then you go back. Then you're back in the wizard. And you see everything was updated. Maybe we need more memory. Um, for example, 1 GB is good. It's done. Now, since we are satisfied, we, go, we can also go back and change properties and stuff, or we can just create, or we can cancel it as well. And as you can see, Boxes knows that you're doing installation, so it will keep on showing installing until it's installed. Um, uh, yeah, and um, so now that we have two machines, we can show another feature of Boxes that is search. Actually, you, you need to press that button or you don't have to actually, you can just start typing and like, uh, start uh, press on. So now as you can see there is only one uh, new box with an M in it, so there is only showing that. Or we can type something that is in both of them. Uh, mm, mm, D. <laughs> yeah, D is something that is in both of them, so it's showing both. And you can just press escape and it goes away. And this installation will continue on its own. I will not bore you with the with showing you it going to completion. So I'll wait till it completes, and in the meantime, I'll pause the video recording. And let's wait. So I'm back, and the installation is done. And in the meantime, I could play some Battlefield and do some other stuff. Um, yeah, um, let's see what we got. As you could see, the installation, the installing label was uh, removed as soon as the installation was done. Um, so we are corrected now, and um, oh, we have an expiration date here. So the revolver resolution is not so good, and that's because we don't install some drivers needed for for this to work automatically uh, yet. Uh, we are working on that, and soon we will have the necessary drivers for this to work out of the box. And we would need to change the resolution to some appropriate one. Um, 
So that was the tutorial. Um, solution is done. We are working with this XP machine here. And as you can see, also the avatar was set. Uh, that is um, set for you automatically. Um, if you choose express installation, that is, if you didn't choose express installation, uh, no, that doesn't come out of the box. So, um, yeah, you should always choose express installation unless you. You really you know what you're doing um, okay so that was the real and you have other options here you can go to visit from here and what boxes and different stuff and that's good collection and yeah um, about boxes and you can also see the home page and you can access the home page from here these are the people who worked on it artists, the designers, and the developers, main developers, and some other people involved as well. Um, okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I just wanted to introduce the various options available in boxes and how it works and how you should be using it. Um, just the basics. Um, and um, Yeah, I think I covered um, almost everything here. So, um, so yeah, good luck with it, and um, if you have any problems, I'll, I'll provide a link to the Bugzilla. Uh, please do report them, and we'll try to solve them as soon as possible. And um, make boxes as uh, the, the best uh, application out there for managing virtual and remote machines. Thanks for watching.